I'm Jennifer Harding. I am the state chairman for ESGR, the employer support of the Garden Reserve, and I want to welcome everyone today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. First, I want to welcome some distinguished guests that we have today. Governor McMaster and First Lady Peggy McMaster, thank you for having us today. Uh, we didn't know who was going to win this Freedom Award back in June, and I put the governor on notice at a job fair, and I said, we can't go to D.C., which is where this award normally is presented at the Pentagon with the president, but I told him, if we win, we're coming to see you, and so he held up on his promise, so thank you so much. William Smith, Senator Lindsey Graham's office, our ESGR National Chair, Ron Bogle, our civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army is here today, Kevin Schwedo. Secretary, South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs, William Grimsley, and other distinguished guests, welcome. And also to the South Carolina ESGR committee is that, that's with us today, thank you for what you do. So ESGR is a Department of Defense program that develops and promotes supportive work environments for service members in the reserve component through outreach recognition and educational opportunities that increase awareness of applicable uh, laws, USERA. It also provides assistance in resolving conflict between service members and their employers. Today our reserve component has 1.1 million members and comprise over 45% of our U.S. military force. We are here today to recognize a few past award recipients and to honor two companies that will be receiving the 2021 Secretary of Defense Employer Support Freedom Award. It is a big deal. HCA Medical Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and Boyer Commercial Construction in Columbia, South Carolina. Both companies are being recognized for their exemplary support for their employees that also serve in the United States military. These two companies, along with 13 other recipients, from across the country were selected from 3,382 nominations. So South Carolina received two Freedom Awards out of 15 for the country. That's amazing. <laughs> Celebrating its 25th year, the Freedom Award began in 1996 under the auspices of the employer support of the Garden Reserve. Grand Strand Medical and Boyer Commercial Construction are among only three that have won for South Carolina in the years past. They are Consolidated Electrical Distributors, Richland County Sheriff's Department, and Callison Teague and Robison. Uh, Sheriff Le uh, Leon Lott is with us today from the Sheriff's Department, and Rick Detweiler is here from Callison Teague and Robinson, and we're happy to have them with us. So the service members today in their nominations mentioned extra support from their employers that went above and beyond. They provided above and beyond support that was in the form of enhanced pay and benefits, a flexible schedule, generous leave policy, pre and post deployment support, care packages, family support while they were on deployment, and recognition among their peers back at the office. And now I would like to introduce our National Chair of Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve. He was appointed by Secretary of Defense Mark Esper in 2019. Prior to this appointment, he served as State Chair of North Carolina. He retired from, uh, as a North Carolina Superior Court Judge. He earned a degree in political science from Georgetown College and now is our National Chairman. So please welcome Ron Bogle. Thank you, Jennifer. It's a great honor for me to have the opportunity to be here, uh, not only as National Chair of Employer Support for the Garden Reserve, but also as your North Carolina neighbor. Uh, it is a great honor for me to have the chance to uh, meet with great employers. You know, employers may not think of themselves in this way, but they are really important partners in our national defense. They make a difference in, in our service members' retention and their readiness to serve in, when called to service. So they're really important, and ESGR's fundamental mission is to work with our, our employers across the nation to build a culture that supports the hiring and values the hiring of the men and women who serve in our nation's Guard and Reserve. And uh, our employers, and we think of ourselves, uh, we, we know how prosperous we are as a nation, 
but we're a nation of millions and millions and millions of employers. And ESGR, as part of our outreach to our nation's employers, looks for ways to honor and to recognize them. One of the ways that we do this is with the Secretary of Defense Employer Support Freedom Award. Started in 1996 with only five employers given uh, who received, uh, were recipients of the Freedom Award for the first eight years of its presentation. That's now been increased to 15. But if you, if you think of how big we are, to frame that up in context, if you think about how prosperous and how powerful we are as a nation, and increasingly we see how the de Defense Department itself is relying upon critical partnerships with our nation's employers. And nothing is more important to our services than the retention of those people who serve in our nation's Guard and Reserve. But we look at, uh, we look at the, our, our employers at, that are out there and to think that we select of those millions and millions of employers based upon thousands of nominations, only 15 employers. These are the best of the best. They do extraordinary things that explain the, the sort of support they provide for our, our service members. It's totally appropriate and within the highest traditions of our nation that we honor and recognize those employers. So it is indeed an honor for me and on behalf of uh, my, uh, my organization, Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve, and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, it is entirely uh, appropriate for me to uh, be here to honor a Boyer Commercial Construction and Grand Strand Medical Center. So I just want to say thank you for all that you do for our, our men and women serving in the nation's Guard and Reserve. Ronnie, if you want to stay up here. So it is my pr uh, privilege now to introduce the Honorable Henry McMaster, the governor of our great state of South Carolina. Thank you, thank Governor. You. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Peggy and I welcome you all to the Governor's Mansion and Gardens as well as the uh, newly named venues at Arsenal Hill. Uh, we have events uh, all the time here. Uh, you see how beautiful it is over there with nationally acclaimed gardens that we intend to have nationally acclaimed again with the work of Peggy and, and her team. And speaking of team, I'll, I'll be very brief. This, this is a team. Um, it, what this boils down to is a recognition of the people who are willing to defend our country to make our country strong. It is a fact of life, of international life as well, that sometimes we have to fight. And there are some who are willing to fight and there are others who are not. And if we don't have people who are willing to put their lives in jeopardy in military uniforms and law enforcement uniforms, then we don't have a country. And so to understand what it takes for a man or woman to step forward and say, send me, we must also understand that it takes a team to do that, and that is they are earning a living some kind of way, and they must have the support of those for whom they work in order for them to protect us to make our country strong. So that's why it is really quite an honor to have two of our employers out of all in the country, too, to be recognized for supporting our Guard and Reserve and in doing so, the country and the strength and future of the country. So we are honored to be a part of this ceremony today and look forward to more and want to welcome all of you here and hope you come back. Thank you. Thank you. So now I'd like to ask Major, uh, uh, Major General Brad Owens to come up for a few brief comments. Uh, he presently serves as the director of the South Carolina Joint Staff, overseeing and directing the administration of all programs that support South Carolina domestic response and also homeland defense contingency operations. So please welcome Major General Brad Owen. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, thank you very much, and I'm proud to be here. It's such a prestigious award ceremony, uh, and to represent all of us in uniform with the Guard and Reserves. On behalf of Major General Van McCarty, the Adjutant General of South Carolina, and the 9,400 soldiers, the 1,300 
airmen that are in the South Carolina National Guard, I'm pleased to be here. I want to take this opportunity to uh, Jennifer, Ron, um, Governor, Ms. First Lady, uh, thank all of y'all for hosting this event. Um, it is such a vital component of our ability to, to deploy overseas or throughout CONUS, the continental United States, in support of our defense of our nation. As citizen soldiers, our relationship with our employers is vital, and ESGR is such a huge part of that. We have incredible employers that support our men and women, and we've asked so much of our Guard and Reserve lately uh, as our, our nation's combat reserve. And whether we're doing rotational deployments over into Southeast Asia or into Europe, or whether we're going to the Southwest border, responding to cyber attacks, defending our air space on the Eastern seaboard or in the national capital region, or even deploying to ensure protection of peaceful demonstrations in the United States. And of course, there's this thing called COVID that we done for over 550 days. So we've asked a lot of our citizen soldiers and it takes unconditional support really from our employers, dedication to our military, and like Ron says, it's a vital component of our national defense. So we're forever grateful for those who have and continue to serve in uniform and their families and employees who stand behind our heroes. Congratulations to Boyer Construction and Grand Strand Medical. And thank you again, Governor, for having me here. So before we present our two Freedom Awards, I do want to make a special recognition. So I am very proud to recognize uh, another award recipient that recently received uh, an award that is the Extraordinary Employer Support Award presented by the Department of Defense to Richland County Sheriff's Department and to Sheriff Leon Lott. So congratulations to Sheriff Leon Lott and your organization. So the Extraordinary Employer Support Award was created to recognize sustained support after receiving the Freedom Award for at least three years. So Callison Teagan Robinson will be eligible for that award, but congratulations, Sheriff Lott. Thank you for all you do to keep us safe. Now I'd like to get on to the award. So I'd like to call up Brian Boyer, president of Boyer Commercial Construction in Columbia, South Carolina, and Major Josh Grebb, United States Marine Corps Reserve, to the podium for the presentation. So upon... Upon leaving 12 years of active duty flying with the Marine Corps, Josh had no idea what to expect from the civilian sector with regard to being able to continue his service through his reserve training, knowing the dynamic schedules that flying would require in order uh, for him to maintain his currency and his proficiency in his job. Boyer Construction was his first and his only interview. During the interview, Josh explained his desire to continue to be available to the Marine Corps if he was called. This desire was met with a resounding dialogue of support from the President Brian Boyer. He immediately made it abundantly clear that there was no individual company in South Carolina that was more patriotic than Boyer Construction. Brian himself was a West Point graduate, an Army Ranger, so he understood exactly what it meant and he did not bat an eye at the request. The Secretary of Defense Employer Freedom Award Eagle and plaque are presented to the President of Boyer Commercial Construction, Brian Boyer. The plaque reads, Secretary of Defense Employer Support Freedom Award 2021 recipient, Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve, honor Boyer Commercial Construction in recognition of exemplary support of National Guard and Reserve member employees. Signed by Robert Underhill, Captain U.S. Navy, Executive Director, and Ronald E. Bogle, National Chair. And at this time, 
Governor McMaster will present the nation's highest recognition given by the United States government to employers for their support of their employees who serve in the Guard and Reserve. Congratulations. Well, I'd like to appreciate the governor for inviting us and in presenting this award, the ESGR team for all their support during the entire process. Never thought that we would make it all the way to, to getting one, so that was great. Um, my wife, uh, who helps me every weekend with the kids when I get to go fly and shoot rockets, so that's great, thank you. Um, and then to the entire Boyer team, uh, picking up all the slack when I have to leave uh, for the summer to go to the California or wherever I'm going. I appreciate y'all picking up the slack for me. Um, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. Governor and Miss Peggy, thank you so much for having us. I, uh, as Jennifer read that one quote, I, I kind of cringed because it sounded a little pompous um, that we were the most uh, patriotic, but the governor kind of bailed me out two weeks ago. We were doing a groundbreaking at the zoo and he shared a quote from a uh, four-star General Clark, uh, Mark Clark Expressway in Charleston. He was the, the commanding general um, in the European theater, but then led the Citadel. But he said there was more patriotism per square inch in South Carolina uh, than anywhere else in the world. So I just want to highlight Josh's service. Uh, he left Somerville High School, attended the University of South Carolina on an ROTC scholarship, uh, graduated in 2007, right in the heart of global war on terror, and uh, he served uh, admirably on 12 years active duty, and now is two and a half years in the reserves. And as an employer in our team, it, it just fills us with pride every weekend when he travels, gets on a plane, goes to Philadelphia, and flies his Viper helicopter, and like Josh said, shoots rockets, uses the minigun, because uh, there's no doubt in my mind, he remains on the, the leading edge in the uh, protecting our country and our state and the, the great people that work here. So. Uh, Governor, just thank you again for having us and appreciate all the support from uh, my wife, Joan, my parents, my sisters here, and our, our entire team. So thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. Now I'd like to call Mark Sims, CEO of HCA Grand Strand Medical in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and Sergeant Roxana Dabada, uh, Banaduck. United States Army Reserve and Major General Joe Robinson, the Commanding General of the Third Medical Command, to the podium for the presentation. So the stories of these employers supporting their guard and reservists are incredible. You just heard from Boyer Construction. Just a little bit about Roxana. So Roxana found her employer extraordinary from the very beginning, from day one. As she was immigrating from Romania, HCA Grand Strand opened their doors to her while she had a work permit as part of the federal government's optional practical training initiative. The program al allows foreign students to work in their field in the United States. Her journey was a complicated one since she was immigrating, serving in the United States Army Reserve, and working in the intensive care unit at Grand Strand Medical. She said that her leadership went out of their way every day to support her, train her, and make sure that she was secure in every single facet of her life. The Secretary of Defense Employer Freedom Award Eagle and Plaque are presented to the CEO of HCA Grand Strand Medical, Mark Sims. The plaque reads, Secretary of Defense Employer Support Freedom Award, 2021 recipient. Employer support of the Guard and Reserve, honor HCA Grand Strand Medical in recognition of exemplary support of National Guard and Reserve member employees. Signed by Robert Underhill, Captain, U.S. Navy, Executive Director, and Ron E. Bogle, National Chair.
And at this time, Governor McMaster will present the nation's highest recognition given by the U.S. government to employers for their support of their employees who serve in the Guard and Reserve. Congratulations. Uh, I wrote a little bit. It's going to be a little bit longer than everybody else. I just want to make sure that everybody knows how Grand Strand supported me through the years. I just want to start by saying October 5th will mark 10 years since I first stepped on American soil. And uh, my uncle, Sergeant First Class Benedict, was serving at Fort Drum at the time. And my first impression on base was the sense of community, but most importantly, the pride everyone took in being an American. I was deeply moved and I pursued to join the Army. Uh, after many life delays, I finally got selected to join the Army Reserve as a combat medic, medic back in 2015. I would not have made it there without Grand Strand Medical Center as they offered me a job back in 2015 and also the chance to extend my visa. However, the reason why I nominated them was uh, for the Secretary of Defense Employer Support Freedom Award. It wasn't just for the career opportunities, it was for their continued support through 2020. The pandemic started as I was in the middle of nursing orientation in the intensive care unit and I got called for a COVID relief mission. When my mission was completed and I came back, I was granted more orientation time to get into the ICU flow. However, ICU and critical care was not my niche, so I got um, switched to a medical surgical floor unit where I have more experience and I'm confident in my skills. During all these obstacles, I was also grieving the loss of my husband who had taken his own life at the beginning of 2020. I had received unconditional support from Grand Strand Medical Center in 2020 and throughout my career. I'm sorry, guys. And this is why I'm overjoyed they are getting this award. Thank you, Governor, for having us here and, and thank you, the ESGR. And I hope all employees who serve in the military get the same type of support from their employees. Thank you. How awesome is Karina? Isn't that fantastic? Uh, thank you to the governor and the first lady for having us here this morning. Really appreciate you all doing that. Also want to give a heartfelt thank you to all of our current and former service members that are here today. Want to commend uh, the employer support of the Guard and Reserve. It's important for all of us to do our part to support service members of the Guard and Reserve. And recognition of that support increases awareness which encourages others to do the same. On behalf of Grand Strand Health, it really is a, an incredible honor to receive this award. HCA Healthcare has made significant uh, commitments to support the armed forces and Grand Strand Health uh, really is uh, fortunate to be a beneficiary of that. Definitely wanna thank Karina uh, for recognizing us, just an incredible story of her significant amount of pride in our organization to receive this award for many reasons. Uh, one of those reasons, uh, you may or may not know that in, in our area of the state, uh, particularly Horry County, uh, we have a significant number of retired military personnel who live in our area. So uh, obviously we're proud to serve them. And just to close in thanking uh, Karina for nominating us, I wanna use the word us liberally uh, because I believe the reason that we're receiving this award, it's specifically related uh, to the relationship or special relationship that Karina has with two of our awesome uh, leaders, uh, Sharon Gilmore and Lisa Taylor. Sharon is with us here today, uh, but that's the reason uh, that we received the award. They not only recognized her significant uh, considerable work ethic and her clinical skills, but they just built a special relationship her with her, and that's what makes the difference. We all know that. So thank you all again for this award. Thank you for allowing us to be here and I hope you all have a great day. And this concludes our official ceremony, but I encourage you to hang around, enjoy some refreshments, walk around the grounds, talk to some of the folks here today, and congratulate Brian Boyer and Boyer Commercial Construction and Mark Sims with HCA Grand Strand. Thank you all for being here. It means a lot to be here. Thanks again, Governor and Peggy, for hosting us today. This is an amazing day. 
Y'all have a great day and safe travels.